Hello, I'm Dr Gareth Moore and I'm a puzzle and brain training author, but in this video I'm not going to be writing puzzles, I'm going to be solving them. And in particular, I'm going to be looking at this, Envil Escapes Thornbright Mansion, Chapter 1. Now this is something I backed on Kickstarter um, and it comes from a company in Canada called Envil Escape. So I've been looking forward to trying this for a while, but it took me a bit of time to get everything ready to film it because it's a pop-up thing. Uh, as in fact it says here, play at home pop-up escape room. So first of all, let's have a look. It comes with this. Um, it's, in fact, it's the first of three episodes that I've backed, chapter one, and the uh, other two are on the way, I believe. Well, one of them has been made and is going to be shipped soon or something like that. It doesn't really matter, does it? We'll work it out. Um, so there's a sleeve with nothing else in it. Let's get rid of that. And then we have, um, okay, there's some stickers. I think those extras back in it on Kickstarter. And then, the, oh, look, there's some clue envelopes. Clue one, do not open until instructed. Okay, clue two, clue three, clue four, and clue five. All right, it's all there. Very clearly labelled, let's be honest. And then there's this. Look at that. It is. Uh -huh. Oh, it's the other way around. Let me just check what's on the other side. Oh, some instructions. We'll look at those. And there's a pop-up room. Okay, well, let's start with instructions. Thornbright Mansion, Chapter 1. When you arrive at Thornbright Mansion late in the afternoon, there is a large for sale sign standing inside the wrought iron gate. You and your party of property investors begin the trek up the winding pathway towards the front steps. As you approach, you find a note taped to the door. If you are signed up for the tour, please come inside and make yourself at home. It may soon be yours, after all. We are waiting for you in the room across from the foyer. You look around at the other members of your party and, stepping forward, you grasp the solid brass handle and open the door. Everyone silently files inside behind you as you enter the mansion's foyer. The air is eerily still, but there is a strong scent of fresh paint and sawdust as if the place is undergoing renovations. As the last person enters, a sudden gust of wind cuts through the house and slams the door shut with a bang. Turn and you pull experimentally on the door. Oh, it's stuck. One by one, you all try to open it. No one succeeds. Another glance between yourselves and it is decided that the best way forward would be to find a room beyond the foyer where the author of the note said they'd be. Crossing the foyer, you discover that the door is locked. You frantically try to find another way out, but a sense of dread begins to wash over you as you realise that you're completely locked in. Well, there we go. To begin, visit slash web app. All right, well, I've now opened the web app, which is actually a massive website on a desktop. I think it's probably designed to be viewed on the phone, given its aspect ratio, and I've added it over here. And as you can see, it's showing you how to set up, which is, I'm pretty sure, something I could have worked out myself. Um, doing this right there we go and now let's click through and see what happens when you okay I'll sort that standard out in a minute let's see what happens when we click start it says select your game below okay chapter one and here we go tutorial to begin playing start looking around the room for clues everything is fair game to tug move and investigate though you will never need to rip or tear anything good to know each lock on the web app corresponds with an item in your pop-up room that can be unlocked Explore the room to find clues on how to unlock each one. And opening the lock will reward you with more clues to help you progress even further. Select an object to attempt to unlock it. Type your guess in the text box and the green unlock symbol will appear automatically when you enter the correct answer. Tap it to find your next clue. Okay. If you get stuck, tap the red question mark. I reckon we've got that. So I select an object to attempt to unlock it. I type in the box and if it's right, it automatically displays a green icon. I click on for a clue. I think is what it's saying. Start. Okay. There we go. I'll scroll that back up a little bit. Envel escape. Leaving or reloading this page will result in lost progress. Okay, I've got it. So let's get rid of that app and have a look at the room. So we've got, what have we got here? We've got a trapped in the depths of a cave over a blood red carpet. All of them crave. They stand in the line as part of a pack, but often the strongest are found in the back. What are we? Under the rug. I guess corresponds with, I'm not sure that corresponds with any of the thin pictures I was given. Trapped in the depths of a cave over a blood red carpet, all of them crave. Yeah, I'm not reading that poem very well. It stands in the lines, part of a pack, but often the strongest found in the back. Okay, what are we? Playing cards maybe? Oh, is it this picture of it? It's a family tree, right? And there's a pluses, I don't know if you can see there, because I've got the lights on quite bright, so that the colours look nice. But there are pluses on here, plus, plus, plus. All right, let's go back to the other view. Um, and then we've got, here we've got a letterbox. Can we see something through that? Yes, you can actually see it in series. There's a snake on the right, and I don't know what that is on the left. Yeah, there are loads of clothes behind here as well. We'll come back, let's look at that last. 
Um, at the top here, it says Alina's room, password required. And there's an arrow pointing down. Maybe suggesting we take the crossword password from below. And I think this is going to move. Oh, it does. Oh, it comes out. Okay. Oh, it says, hint, my favourite animal. Okay, so the password for that room, and that is one of the things in the app. Just bring the app up. That's here, right? The password is her favourite animal. So maybe we're supposed to look. If we look through here, as I say, we can see a bird, oh, bird plus snake. Is it a bird snake? Which one of these said you needed two things? Was it that one? Okay. I'm sure it's not a bird snake. What other animals can we see in here? Well, those are washing things. And then there's just, those. that's all that's there, that side. And this side, yeah. A bird plus a snake. So a snake that sounds like a bird. I mean, I'll try typing bird snake in. Bird snake, the famous animal bird snake. That, nothing happened there. Well, I got underlined. There's a typing error. They should disable that in the web app. Right. Okay. Oh, and look, I'm looking down here. There is a doll or a child <laughs> tied to a train track. That's nice. Um, and then over here we have, what's that say? It looks like it should move, but it's just a picture. It says brother, brother of. Can you see that? No, you can't. Because my fingers in the way. Here it says brother of, and then it's swan down. Oh, it's swan down from over here. Someone with a knife is brother of someone. There's a, there's a bit of cracked frame here. Um, and then here we've got Catherine, sister of Manfred. There's a combination on here. And this is one of the items here on the here on the, on the web app. So letters and numbers only, okay. And then there's a knife, a pink knife here. And he's holding a pink knife in that picture. Okay. And then there's a skull. I don't think there's anything under the table. There is something under the table. I don't think you can see here, um, but there is a... Let's just put this light on a second. Under the table, there is a snake. Yeah, you can see it there. Well, I'll move my finger out of the way. There's a snake. So, there's a snake under the table. So maybe the snake is the favourite animal? And there's a, there's a power switch on the wall here. appreciate it's a little hard to see some of this. There, you can see the power switch now. And I threw this, this is not actually, a, oh, there's a, there's a bird here. Here's the bird and the snake that we see through the other window. Uh, and this, as you can see in a top-down view, is just flat painting. Um, and it's plug sockets and a panel and a door. So we've got a bird here. Oh, this, this matches the appearance of the door at the top. and has a bird on it. I think the bird is the favourite animal. That's that just kind of just guessing. Let's just try bird, snake, bird. Oh, right. No, but I think if you just type it, it tells you if you're correct. Presumably the snake isn't either. Uh, that didn't help. Right. Okay. Well, that was just me guessing. That would have been a bit unfair. That was right. Anyway. Oh, look. There's, there's quite a lot of snakes. Ah, uh, we're going to be counting them at some point, I guess. Because there's a snake under here. And look, there's one up here at the top of the room. Let's turn that light off again. Um, okay. So coming across the room, we have a snake here at the top. Um, and... Oh, does this move? That, that looks like it bent. No, I don't think the bend in that is just to make the... I was going to say to make the pop-up work, but no, that's not true. Does this lift up? Oh, it does. It does lift up, look. Under the carpet, there's another snake. <laughs> that's pretty sneaky. I did nearly miss that. Oh, goodness me, that's fun. In fact, there's loads of steps here. Is there anything on the back of these steps? No, they are plain, as you can see on that shot. Um, right, in fact, look, everything on the back of it, the cardboard seems to be empty. By the way, apologies for the thrilling pictures you're getting there of my desktop. Um, right, okay. And then we've got a cupboard here. And look, it's got a knife on top as well with a pink handle. So can you see that? Can you see it in the top-down view? Yes, there's a pink pink knife, pink handled knife, another plug socket. Quite a lot of repeated graphics, which makes me think that either perhaps at some point we're going to count the number of those things. Um, oh, look, now this. This is why I can see the bird snake. Oh, maybe this is the answer to this. Is the number of birds I can see and the number of snakes I can see. Um, so let's first of all, before we go any further, let me just hide the web app a moment. Let's have a look in this cupboard. Does I think these doors open? I mean, there's something here anyway. I'm just trying to get it open. Oh, it does open. There we go. Oh, there's clothes in here. I feel like I'm spying. 
And a snake. <laughs> oh, and here's the favourite toy, Alina. That's her favourite animal, isn't it? And there's a snake. Let's do the animal first. So Alina. Hint, my favourite animal. So that's move that so we can see Alina. We're in at the app again. Alina. Okay, Alina is not her favourite animal. Doesn't seem to, there's no like enter or submit button, which is a little disturbing. Is it I have to have to trust it's I can press enter on the keyboard at least. I just have to trust that it's gonna pop up something magical when it's correct, I guess. Unless Alina is a hint at something as opposed to an actual answer. Alina oh Alina is her name. I'm an idiot. Alina is the name of the girl. So what sort of animal is it? It's a a rabbit, right? I mean it's hard to know because it's a toy. Maybe it's a rabbit. Okay, so typing in her name it was already on the card. Rabbit. Aha! <laughs> Finally, I've made some progress. So let's click on this clue icon. There we go. You've got success! You open the door and find what looks like a standard child's room. So that's notionally through here, right? Standard child's room, you know. Nothing, nothing personal in there. Right at your feet as you enter, however, is a ripped piece of blue paper. You may now open clue two. Well, that's exciting. Where's clue? What happened to clue one? I don't know. But uh, maybe they're not given out in any particular order. Clue two, do not open until instructed. Well, I have now been instructed in here. Bit of paper. Just check there's nothing else in there. Nope. Nothing else. Okay. And what is it? What is it? Ooh. Oh, there's lots of red marks. Um, very strange damages done to this house. There were gnaw marks on the railings. Client claims some sort of wild animal got in and caused all this damage. Okay, and then there were marks which clearly correspond with the picture I have in front of me. I don't know what this has got to do with anything, I don't know. There were gnaw marks on the railings. I don't actually see any gnaw marks on the railings here. Assuming they mean these railings, because there are no other railings that I can see, unless they're referring to railings outside. Uh, very strange damages. There were gnaw marks on the railings. Client claims some sort of wild animal can cause damage, and it shows locations. Um, so, I don't think there's anything on the back of this, other than no, just the print. Um, and this arc mat doesn't lift up. It looks like there's a... Oh my goodness. On the welcome mat, there is a window shining down and there's the outline, outline of that bird again on it. I didn't even notice that. In fact, looking at this again over here, just fold this so you can see, there is a toolkit here. Let's see if there's anything else looking down on this bit of paper and this camera here. And there's sawdust here or something of that sort. Um, let's just see if there's anything inside. Let's switch back to the other camera. Uh, see if there's anything inside this. I can do it here. Inside, down the back of this cabin, cupboard. I don't think there is. We turn the light on just to be sure. It's the wrong button. There we go. Um, no, I don't think so. The things we are trying to solve are the brown cabinet, which is this here. We need a three-digit number. It's certainly the implication um, with a skull on it. Ah, oh, right. Well, hang on a minute. That seems to be two objects in one. There's the skull, which has got nothing on the back, I don't think. No, well, nothing I can see. Um, two objects in one there, because we've got the skull and... On the app, we've got the skull and the cable underneath. Then we've got the, the boy or man in the window with a knife. Uh, and then we've got this door here, which has got a bird over it. So maybe the answer to that is the number of birds. And similarly, the answer to this could be the number of snakes, perhaps. Um, and then we've got the safe. And then there is a bird plus a snake. Ah, oh, that is that's surely a number. That's the number of birds plus the number of snakes. So let's do that next. Right, now uh, there is a bird here. That's one. There's one through here. Two. Are there just two birds? No, and one here. That's three birds, right? One. One at the bottom here. Two here. And three through here behind there. Those are three birds. But there are a lot more snakes. So we already knew there was a snake under here, under here, one, and a snake at the top here, that's two, um, and a snake under here, three, and a snake through here, four, and then a snake in the cupboard here, five. So 
I think there are five snakes. I think eight is the number total number there. So is eight the answer to the safe puzzle here? Um, let's type eight. It is not. <laughs> Unless the answer is the word eight, which seems a bit unfair. Or is it three and five, or three plus five equals eight? I mean, one possibility entirely credible is that I cannot count, or that there are pictures of snakes and so forth on things I haven't looked at. Behind here, there is... Okay, now I'm looking at this more closely. It's not bird plus snake at all. It looked like a plus looking through the gap. And now I fold the thing, I can see that it's not a plus at all. It's, let me just move that back. It's a bird and a dagger and a snake. Uh, so I've got a number of daggers too. I have commented there were a lot of daggers, haven't I? So we've got daggers. And there are at least two that I know of. Well, there's one in, I mean, am I counting the ones in here? Well, I can take three off when I finish, if I'm not sure. So daggers, where are they? There are, there is, are there, is there anything on this mat, is there? No. Um, there is a dagger, obviously, in this picture here. One. And a dagger here. Can you see that? Two. And I did see one other, didn't I? Didn't I? Maybe I didn't. Yes, the dagger on top of here, there. So one, two on here, three in the picture, and four under here, so four daggers. They are birds, daggers, snakes. Okay, so the number of birds is three. Uh, number of daggers is four, number of snakes is five. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Success. This is interesting, this is clue three. It makes me feel that I was supposed to take clue one to start with, but I won't take it because it didn't tell me to. Uh, you input the combination here, a series of, oh, there was a very easy puzzle I haven't solved yet. You output the combination here, a series of locks in the safe, click open. However, it seems it has already been looted. All that remains is a single note. You may now open clue three. Paper. Else in there. And what is that bit of paper? Oh, it's quite a long note. Regarding Thornbright family safe, security has been compromised. Someone has removed the portrait of sweet Alina that was covering up our family safe. Okay, and I can't find where it went. I don't want those nosy repairmen getting their hands in it. So for the time being, I've personally moved any important documents from the safe to the locked drawer in the foyer and updated the combination. Okay, so this is the combination over here. Well, you can't see it's off to the right, but this combination that we're trying to open on that drawer with the skull on top. Furthermore, the repairmen from Shoot Repair Co. overcharged us for the paint. The total cost was outrageous. We're definitely never hiring them again. Okay. So, ah, oh, something to do with paint, perhaps? And does this refer to paint? No, that's nor marks. Never mind. Oh, this refers to paint, though, right? Is it? No, it refers to blood red carpet. Perhaps in the depths of a cave over a blood red carpet, all of them crave. It stands in the line as part of a pack. I mean, the pack makes me think of cards, but often the strongest are found in the back. What are we? It's a riddle that I can't solve, but putting that aside, we have people in the. Fa this looks like a family tree, with, yes, and presumably these will contain names of people on paintings, like here, Rupert. Father of Harold. We've got Constance, daughter of Margaret. We've got someone who's brother of, and we've got Catherine, sister of Manfred. Well, that's not enough information to fill out a family tree this complex, is it? Let's have a look at the clothes, because they must be there for a reason, mustn't they? Right. So we have... Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another dagger there. I didn't count that one. <laughs> look, there's a dagger there. Oh, that may mean that I missed, <laughs> that I wasn't supposed to count the ones on the adding up on this picture, and that I actually missed <laughs> a bird and missed a uh, snake somewhere, and I was lucky to get the right count. Yes, I actually did. Look, there's a bird here. Okay, so there was a dagger I missed here, a bird I missed here, and there must be another snake I missed somewhere. That's how I've looked, I understand. There's another snake here. All right, so I solved that other puzzle incorrectly. But because I added on one it wasn't intending me to, to each of them, I got the right total. I'm sure I won't be the only person to have done that. These tools here and these brown panels are interesting. It does imply you need to 
No, it doesn't. I mean, maybe, I thought maybe it implied you had to separate something. But it's, it doesn't look to me like this is intended to come apart. And it was pretty clear you weren't supposed to destroy anything. I mean, so this says... Okay, so this over here says... Zero, zero, zero. I don't see that's the answer, but let's just try it anyway. Seems incredibly unlikely. Zero, zero, zero. Yeah, well, I mean, I've been astounded, astounded that that was the answer. And a skull. So this still has a panel here. And the panel connects in here. So there's an app here, it is on the app. Um, but uh, it's not obvious to me what I would enter here. I mean, I've got a plug socket next just but counting them with plug sockets is a very random thing to do, and there's no reason to think that. Um, yeah, there's a keypad, which makes you think you need a number. Um, what number would you enter to open that door? So I think rather than faff around for much longer, I'm going to have a look at the hints. So I think we're trying to do the cabinet next. Um, so let's take a hint on this. Oh, hello. In order to solve this puzzle, you'll need to solve a certain riddle and also open the family safe. And that's kind of what I figured. So I've opened the safe, which tells us... What does it tell us? The portrait of Aline has been removed. I don't want the nosy repairmen getting their hands in it. Move the items to the locked drawer. Repairmen are from Shoot Repair Co. SRC. I mean, maybe SRC are the letters to open the... Look, I assumed it was numbers, or maybe it's letters. I think this is unlikely to be correct. SRC. No. Okay, we're taking another hint. Look closely at the paint totals on the... In uh, what paint totals on what invoice? Okay. Helpful clue. Giving me a hint towards something I haven't yet come across. Also, maybe this is simply assuming that I've done something first. You'll need to solve a certain riddle. And the riddle I haven't solved is clearly the only riddle I'm aware of, the one under here. Trapped in the depths of a cave, over a blood-red carpet, all of them crave. They stand in a line as part of a pack, but often the strongest are found in the back. What are we? None of these pictures correspond with the mat, so I don't know which one to choose to take a hint on. I don't want to view hints of puzzles I haven't got to yet. Um, but you start with this puzzle, and yet you're not able to take a hint on it. Um, which is a shame. Trapped in the depths of a cave over... You need the solution? What does the hint say? You need the solution and just solve a certain riddle. There's only one riddle we've come across, so presumably it's referring to this. I mean, if I can't solve the riddle, what do I do? Do I just give up? <laughs> Maybe, yeah, the riddle is so patently obvious that that's exactly what I should be doing. Let's look at the hint for this. The, uh, the large red rug in the foyer has an interesting pattern on it. Best solved after finds an informative document. Okay, fine. So I can't do that yet. And this door. The only way through, you need to find two halves of a certain document. Fine, I haven't got that. And the skull. Look at the words underneath the large red carpet. Okay, so that's... The, this is the one I solved with this. Okay, so I guess this is my, where I need to go next. The answer is something you use every day. Oh, it's teeth. Isn't it? I think that's actually a, a standard riddle. It's not even um I don't know, I didn't think of that. It's not even that hard it's not not that original. I just hadn't thought of it. It's teeth. It's dumb. Right, okay, well I've been stuck on that for ages. <laughs> Let's see what happens when we press teeth. Aha, success. The jaws of the skull click open, revealing a crumpled piece of paper in its mouth. The paper looks as if it has been shoved in hastily. Possibly with the intention of it not being found again. Okay, it's not physically there. You may now open clue one. Okay. Well, I made heavy work of that riddle. Um, there is a sticky point, though. If you can't solve that riddle, you are truly stuck. Right, okay. Well, I mean, let's cheat. So what's in here? Okay. An invoice. Let's zoom in on that a bit. Um, the shoot repair company. Seven volts. Probably don't need the address. 21st of April. And there's some maths to do. Um, 32 things at 450. Four things at 50. Oh, gosh. I have to calculate all of this. I mean, I can do the four things at 15 for a start. That's 60, right? And glass fixtures, two at $25 each. Okay, that's 50. We can do those ones. Um, 20. Okay, I can do these. 700. 200 of these is 300, right? Um, and this. 32. Oh, I'll add that up in a minute. 
And then a total, we weren't able to find the missing painting that was on the front stairs. I'm not sure if we should patch up the weird hole that was behind it. Also, that little boy kept taking our tools and documents and hiding them around the house, rascal. Okay, well, I found tools at the near right. I don't know what documents are hidden. Um, so what's 32 times $4.50? Hey Siri, what's 32 times $4.50? 32 times 4 US dollars and 50 cents is 144 US dollars. Okay, thank you, Siri. 144, so let's add all this up. 1,254. Who doesn't love a bit of mental arithmetic? All right, okay, so I've got a total of 1,254, but just four digits, actually. And if I look on here, it shows three digits. So maybe it's wrong, although <laughs> I have just noticed, if you look in the app, I don't know if you can see there, Four things marked. Four things marked on there. So it doesn't actually match. Uh, it doesn't actually match here. It doesn't actually match with four. But um, let's try typing in one two five four then, which was the sum of the invoice. One two five four. Oh. Oh, was there something on the other note about what to include? There was, wasn't there? Hang on a minute. Um, oh, if we got. Can't find where it went. What these nosy repairmen getting their hands in it? I've personally moved documents. Ah, overcharges for the paint. The total cost was outrageous. We were definitely, so it's the paint cost I need. I didn't need to add all that up. So there we go. I should be paying more attention. The paint cost was, um, what was the paint cost? Um, $300. There we go. That's what I needed to put in here. $300. Not what I typed. So hang on. 300 Didn't need to add all that up. The maths was much easier. There we go. There we go. As you dial in the final digit, and it was, of course, three digits like it shows on the 3D picture, not four like it shows on the little, this picture here. As you dial in the final digit, you hear the drawer unlock and it opens with ease. It's good to know. Among a pile of random documents, you find something that looks to be quite important. You may now open clue four. Okay. Clue four is this envelope here. I can zoom out, can't I? Right. It seems to be one piece of paper or whatever inside each well, artifact, inside each envelope. Oh, it's just a big piece of paper. Maybe I'll finish with those. Let's move them out of the way. Okay, oh, it's the last will and testament on quite nice cardboard. The last will and testament of Rupert Thornbright. Dear Thornbright family, to assist, okay, so this is going to be filling out, I'm guessing, I might be wrong, I'm guessing I'm filling out the family tree here. Um, so, let's move this camera out of the way. To my sisters Adrian and Anne, I leave each a set of fine china. To Alistair, I give my archery set, for you always seem to have a special knack for the sport. I divide my antique chairs between my... Okay, so there's loads of stuff, it just refers to family. And presumably you combine this with the information that's printed on the calendar here to complete the family tree. So we've got the family tree. At the top we've got a married couple. That's what the plus means, or at least a couple who had a child. And one of them is Rupert Thornbright, I'm pretty sure. And then it refers here to a great grandchild. And yet, Catherine, I don't think, is one of the grandchildren. So I'm pretty sure that, Mar that Margaret and Rupert are the four progenitors. And that's why I wrote of this tree. It's why I've written Margaret in here. You can't see it. I'll rub it out. Pretty sure Rupert and Margaret are the progenitors of this tree. And then they have some children. Four of them, in fact, um, and one of them um, marries. Yeah. And then this couple have three children, and one of them marries. And that couple have two children. This seems an unnecessarily complicated puzzle to solve. Uh, Constance and Leopold presumably are a couple. Herrick, the dining room set, and Richard, the pantry set, but the parents and son could never. Stand to share. So I presume Constance and Leopold are one of these two couples, or maybe this couple here. There are three, there are two couples right here Constance and Leopold. And they had a son, um, Richard. Right, and he refers to his great grandchild, Alina, who we already know is there, because she's the person in. He was, had the toy in the cupboard and left the note in the door. Um, and her uncle Manfred. So there's a Manfred on this level. We don't know where this goes, but on this level, there is definitely a Manfred. 
Catherine receives the pearls of her late grandmother. So on this level, there's also a Catherine. Um, oh, and her grandmother, Margaret. Now we have here that on this picture, Constance is the daughter of Margaret. So Constance has to go on this level. And Rupert was the father of Harold. So Harold has to go on this level. And I'm getting that information of this picture here. Um, and then on the right here, we have Catherine is the sister of Manfred. Okay. Oh, yeah, we've got that. I knew that anyway. Um, to sisters Adrian and Anne, I leave each a set of fine china. So to fit two sisters in here, won't fit in here. So the sisters Adrienne and Anne must go on this level. Okay. So Adrian, so this level we've got Adrian, Anne, Constance, Harold. On this level, we've got some people we don't know yet. We've got, oh, here's Constance and Leopold. Okay. So this is Constance, and this is Leopold, and their child was Richard. So there's Richard on this level too. Okay. And then I've got three sisters here, Adrian, Anne. Oh, there's a brother. I've got Adrian, Adrienne, is it? Yes, Adrian, Anne, and Harold. Okay, and on this line I've got Bantford, Catherine, and Richard. I don't know who is whom, who is who, in which place. Um, his brother Manfred has a brother in law, Charles. So, one way round, there's a Charles. So, you probably this is Charles here. Can't be quite certain. So, Thornbright family, let's go through again. Adrian and Anne I've put in place. Alistair. Oh, to Alistair. So, someone left over. I don't know where they go. There's an Alistair. It's an unknown name. Oh, it must be here. No, it could possibly there's one, two, three, four here. I've got one, two, three, four names. Okay, so Alistair has to be his other great grandchild. Makes sense he's going to his archery set set. Right. I divide my antique chairs between Manfred and brother in law Charles. To Harold I give my collection of cufflinks. He has no other brother. Yeah, okay, so Constance is a woman, I guess. And we've got Adrian Anne and Constance, that's fine. And Leopold's brother in law. Catherine will receive the pearls of her late grandmother, that's fine. Her great grandchild Lena, Uncle Manfred, Constance and Leopold. Okay, so then assume, presumably Charles is the person who married into the family, and assuming a bit of assumption it's a male female wedding or, or union. Then we have Catherine here as the mother, and that leaves um, Manfred and Richard here. Yeah. Richard. So we have filled in that family tree, and I think that's coherent. It goes on here. Right, now what have we done? Now we've done that. Let's go back to what, what was there? Was there a clue? I think probably yes, 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 because look, on this picture here, it says brother of. And we who is this picture of? Someone who was the brother of someone. So here we've got two brothers, Manfred. Have we got a picture of Manfred? And Richard. Ah, oh, so this is either Manfred or Richard. And he's the brother of the other. So I'm guessing we type Manfred or Richard into the picture. Into the picture puzzle. Let's bring that back up. Let's just dismiss the success thing. And let's type Manfred Richard in here and see what happens. Manfred Richard. Oh, it didn't work. I'm so sure that was right. I mean, was I sure or was I just... Fairly sure. Manfred, maybe it's the other way around. Maybe it's Richard, brother of Manfred. Richard, Manfred. No. Ah, <sighs> bother. Why are they holding a knife in that picture? It's pretty creepy, right? I thought the only two brothers I had on my family tree were... Goodness me. I know this is a complete scraggly mess. But I have... Harold had no other brothers. Alistair, oh, I mean, it could be, could it be a picture of the boy? Alistair, maybe it's meant to be a child. It doesn't look like a child. But if it is, I mean, maybe it doesn't look, maybe if it's a child, then it could be Alistair, who's brother of Alina. Alastair, who is brother of Alina. Oh, that's not right either. Oh, it was right. Okay. I don't understand. So you are meant to assume that the picture is of a child, and then that makes it unique. Fair enough, I suppose. 
Um, I've forgotten which one it was now because it's obscured it. It was this one, right? Success. You pull down the portrait. Well, I mean, you can't actually do that. And reveal a small hole in the drywall with nothing but a couple of pieces of paper. As you take the two items, you hear a loud crash coming from the brown door down the hall. And that's here. Do not open until instructed. Well, that's now. Um, nothing else in here. I mean, I don't think so, but no. No. There are, oh, there are two bits of pieces of paper in here. It didn't lie. Ah. So maybe that's why I haven't used this. Because they go together. We'll come back to that. What's on the other bit of paper? Dearest diary. Dearest, dearest diary. We're definitely going to need to get all of these damages repaired. I just hope the repairmen don't ask any questions while they were here. I'll have to come up with a plausible story as to what happened. Perhaps I'll say a wild animal got in. Oh, that refers to the other note about the raccoon or whatever it was. I just can't believe my own flesh and blood could be so destructive. This behaviour cannot go on. Something must be done. Okay, it's blank on the back. Right. Thornbrake Manor Mansion repair note. Carpenter Larry Lou started by fixing the front door then went to the frame of Alistair's portrait. He then fixed the lamp under the stairs, then the family safe, and finally, sorry, finally the splintered handrail by the beginning of the stairs. Former Mr. Shute started by fixing the broken frame of Catherine's portrait and then proceeded to work on replacing the floorboards near the front of the house. Labourer Luke Davies started by fixing the glass on Constance's portrait and then Rupert's portrait. He then turned his attention to getting the stain out of the large ornate rug. So, I mean, it's possible that we're tracing roots on these red X's and they're going to create numbers. What are we doing with those numbers? Let's just bring up the app again. Um, yeah, to open the door, I presume we're going to trace some numbers. Um, right, OK, well, let's have a look. Let's, let's treat this to just what I said. Maybe that does work. Carpenter Larry Lou started at the front door, which is this mark here, then went to the frame of Alistair's portrait. This is Alistair here, isn't it, we decided. So they went from here to here. It's quite hard to see. Um, he then fixed the lamp under the stairs, which is just by here. That's already, it looks like a seven. Um, and finally, the splintered handrail. Oh, so it comes back to here. The splintered handrail must be here. So we've got a nine. So I think that's tracing the shape of a nine. I'm just going to write that down so I don't forget. And then we've got Mr. Shute started by fixing the broken frame of Catherine's portrait. OK, so Catherine's here. I know what's broken about the frame. What is broken about the frame? Oh, at the bottom there's a bit missing, I guess, compared to the other ones. Anyway, uh, so that's here. And, I mean, it's OK, maybe the nine's in the middle. And it's not the first digit. Anyway, it may not be a nine. I may be jumping ahead of myself here. Uh, we started here. And then it says, you can't see this, I realise, but it doesn't really matter, I'm reading it out. Um, proceeds to work on placing the floorboards near the front of the house. Okay, that's here for sure. Um, oh, that's it, it's a one. From here to here, okay, so we've got nine, one, or possibly, well, it's nine, one either way. Um, and then finally, it says labourer, labourer Luke Davy started by fixing the glass and Constance's portrait, which is over on the far left. Here's Constance. Um, started by fixing the glass on Constance's portrait. What's wrong with the glass? This is already making some sense, I think. And then Rupert's portrait, which is the one next to it, here. So that goes across. He turns his attention to getting a stain out of the large ornate rug, which is this one. That's a seven. I've got, I've either got nine, one, seven in this order, or reading across the room here. I don't know if you can see my, my scratchings. But it's seven nine one. So I assume that's the final answer to enter into the app for the door. Seven nine one. Hey, we did it. And it only took well longer than I expected, truthfully. <laughs>
I was just here. Who or what caused the damages to the house? I, mean, I don't know what damages it really means, other than this loose floorboard here, but... Um, who? I know, certainly I caused this damage. Damages to the house. What happened to Alina Thornbright's portrait? What kinds of experiments are going on in the lab? Um, oh, so Alina Thornbright's portrait would have gone here. Uh, what kind of experiments are going on in the lab? Find out in Chapter 2. Well, there we go. That's now done. Uh, that was interesting. I, I wasn't quite sure what to expect of that. I think that probably I thought there was going to be a bit more interaction with the cardboard game because really it was mostly used as a backdrop. And apart from, I mean, the fact that it folded out was neither here nor there as far as the puzzles were concerned, I think. Um, I mean, I guess looking through the safe to see the thing directly behind it would use the 3D nature of it. But beyond that, there was, I suppose, doors to open. I'm just reversed compared to what I'm used to. It's not, it's not mirrored. Uh, this is uh, the doors are easy to open here, and this thing was simple to pull out. And I nearly missed, I guess, the carpet here. But other than that, this obviously folded up. That was clear right away. I think the riddle was a bit tough because if you don't, I mean, not well, not that it was a tough riddle, but if you don't get it, you are fundamentally stuck. Well, there we go. I quite enjoyed that. I think that it's not bad at all. It's very nicely made. Um, and I can recommend it. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I'll put a link in the uh, in the description down below so you can go to the Ember Escape website if you want to get hold of your own copy of the game. Um, and by all means, do please comment if you solved along with me or if you have some thoughts of your own. I'm sure you do. Uh, and by all means, do comment, please, on the, <laughs> what you thought on the game, what you thought on how I solved it. Maybe you thought some of the puzzles I was stuck on were painfully obvious. Um, either way, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And also somewhere down here, if you're on the YouTube Apple website watching this, then you should be able to subscribe and like the video. So like the video, please. And also please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It makes it easier to find my future videos, I think. Uh, and also makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. Um, but uh, there we go. I will add some links at the end here and here. No, there and there. Um, to some of my other videos and my and Laura's videos where I solve with my colleague. Uh, various more complex escape room boxes. Although that was pretty involved, to be honest. Um, and uh, maybe you'll enjoy some of those as you click through. But until then, until I see you in another video, all I want to say now is take care and goodbye.